With Modern Warfare 3 coming right around the corner, let's go ahead and start talking about some of the things we hope to see coming in the future COD. Let's get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, future COD coming out, but yes, we have already a whole bunch of confirmed older maps from the Modern Warfare 2 2009 uh, generation of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And basically, we know the maps are coming. But what else could be coming? We want to see older guns. Yes, I want to see this UMP-45. I don't want to see the Strike 45 or any of these reiterated versions. I want this UMP-45. I don't even care if you throw the USP in there. Give me this UMP-45, please. For nostalgia's sakes, please just give me this UMP-45 so I can run around and just feel again like I did in 2009 whenever I was just doming people. Along with these new, you know, old maps and old guns that we want, I also want to see some old modes return. Yeah, so mainly with zombies coming back, I'd like to see Dead Ops Arcade come back as well. That was a super fun arcade type good mode. Better for couch play, but you could play it online, which was super cool. I got to play with my friends a lot, and it was less of a... It was still yet to be strategic, and, you know, it was a time trial type thing. But it wasn't as, you know, boxies, windows, pack-a-punch to this. No, it was more of a you know, running gun arcade game, and that was more of, you know, at that time, fun to do because it was less stress. Another thing that I would love to see are some new multiplayer modes, well, old multiplayer modes. Capture the Flag, we haven't seen Capture the Flag in a minute, and I would love to see it come back just because we haven't seen it in so long that it would be, honestly, really cool, really fresh, but still old, like, they know how to do a Capture the Flag. Also, wouldn't mind seeing Uplink come back. Uplink was a I want to say probably an unpopular mode. I think they had it in, obviously, Infinite Warfare. I think they had it in Advanced Warfare. And then I want to say they also had it in World War II, but it was more of a football version, which was super cool. Um, I think they should definitely bring this back. It gave the fans something else to play or the players something else to play. So I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Uplink down below. Another thing we'd love to see, custom paint jobs. Yes, World War II did these where you could have your own custom paint job for your gun. However, they were not downloadable through the community. Make them downloadable. World War II was made by Sledgehammer Games, which is making Modern Warfare 3. We have faith, we have hope that we could probably get this back, but make them downloadable through the community so I don't have to create myself. Also, crazy skins. If you don't like crazy skins, okay, it's 2023. You got to get over it. We're not in world war world at war anymore these are going to be crazy if you don't like crazy don't buy them but if i want to be a skull on fire and shoot you i should be able to have that responsibility and if i want to be spider-man or iron man and shoot you i should be able to do that also crazy blueprints i love these con mobile has done an excellent job and i think whoever's doing their blueprints needs to move to console because they look awesome i think all their like specialty, you know, like uh, I can't explain it, but there was one that literally disappeared and then reappeared. It was super cool. And it really caught everyone off guard. Like everybody was talking about it. Even if you didn't play Con Mobile, you talked about it. So I would love, love, love to see crazy blueprints like that come to console just because it would be super cool to inspect. Also, from another game, case openings. CSGO case openings. I think these should come to Call of Duty. Let me know what you think about this below. If you can't do cases, then don't do cases. Do packs or something like that. But I think this would be great revenue-wise for Call of Duty. And it would be great for players like this. You know, Tim the Tatman and all these guys are buying crates and playing CSGO just because of the crate thing. Because of the addiction of doing the crates. Yes, it might not be the healthiest thing in the world. But when you're a multi-billion dollar company and you're just trying to make some money. And you want to give the fans something new and cool and iterative. Or not iterative, but you know what I mean. Like... Ah, hands on like something that actually keeps them excited gives them something to play for like supply drops and stuff whenever we had to play for those but make them where we can buy them make it where I can buy supply drops or buy cases or you know buy packs give me something and don't give me you know the same stuff I can go buy in the shop no if I don't want to be able to buy them this should be like one of the top notch ways to get blueprints is through here or skins for weapons just by doing crates make it where you have like a whole set of unlimited uh, you know, limited time offers that you can only get through crates. Don't put what you put in the crates in the shop and then think that you're doing a favor. No, you're screwing yourself. You need to just bring out crates or packs. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. Uplink down below. Everything that I talked about. Let me know what you're looking forward to in Modern Warfare 3 and what you wish is to still come. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys, and have a great day.